Hello everyone, welcome back to Sermon SAT Prep. Today we're going to tackle chapter 6, Expressions of the College Panda Math series. Alright, let's take a look at uh, question 1. Which of the following is equivalent to 6x squared y plus 6x squared? So what we need to do here is to factor out the common terms. So here we can see the common terms between these two uh, variables are 6xy. So if you factor out 6xy, we get x plus y. Because if we multiply this back, we'll, we'll get to the initial uh, question, initial variables. So the answer should be a. Question 2. If a is greater than 0, then 1 over a plus 3 over 4 is equivalent to which of the following? So what is the common denominator here? The common denominator is 4a, because if we add both of them, it will be 4 over 4a. Uh, and then we add 3a over 4a. Yeah, and this will give us 4 plus 3a over 4a, because these two will be equal. So the answer should be b. Which of the following is equivalent to this? Okay. So what we can do here is to expand. So if we expand this equation, we first multiply x squared by y. So x squared y plus x squared z, x squared z plus, now we do this and this, y squared plus yz. And the answer to this is b. Which of the following is equivalent to 4 plus 8x over 12x? So what we should do here is to decide if we can simplify this equation. This equation. So what we can do here is we can notice that the, the top and bottom can be divided by 4. So if we divide this by 4, we get 1 plus 2x over 3x, right? And the answer here should be C. Which of the following equations is equivalent to 3x? to the power of 4 minus 3. Uh, here, what we can do here is to rewrite this in a more simpler way. So here we can see the common uh, variable here would be 3. So we can separate 3, x to the power of 4 minus 1. And what can we do here, uh, since none of these answer choices match what we got here, is we can further separate the uh, this part of the variables. So we can do x squared minus 1 and x squared plus 1. Keep in mind that the signs must be uh, different from one another, otherwise they won't go back to this equation. If you guys want, you can also double check if these two will give this equation just by multiplying and foiling. And after that, we can further separate this again to 3x squared minus 1 uh, x squared plus 1, and we can prefer to separate the x squared minus 1 to x plus 1 and x minus 1, which in this case, the answer is D. Okay, which of the following is equivalent to the expression shown above? So, a common rule that you guys should notice is that a plus b squared will be equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? And here, in this case, we can see that a is x plus 1 and b should be y plus 1 therefore the equivalent uh, the expression should be equivalent to uh, x plus 1 in brackets plus y plus 1 brackets uh, and we square this and we should get x plus y plus 2 squared which is b which of the following is equivalent to x, y minus x squared over x, y minus y squared. So what we can do here is to find ways to simplify the, ver the equation. Here we can see that they both share x. So we can rewrite this as x, y minus x. Here they both share y. So it's y, x minus y. And we can make this part equivalent to this part we can do this by adding negative to the 
x here, so it's negative x, brackets x minus y, and over y, x minus y, and now we can just simply cancel these two, which will leave us with negative x over y, which is d. If x is greater than 1, which of the following is equivalent to this equation? Alright, so let's try and add the two fractions in the denominator because doing the whole equation will be a little too complex. So let's just forget about the 1 over for now. Let's rewrite this as x minus 1 over 2 plus x plus 5 over 3. And if we add both of them, we will get 3x plus 1 plus 2x plus 5 and over 6. We get this by cross multiplying. And then we can further simplify this to 5x plus 7 over 6. So the answer should be a... Wait, no. So because it's 1 over this result, right? Because x is greater than 1, we can actually flip the equation. So we should get 6 over 5x plus 7. So the correct answer is a little bit confusing. Question 9. The expression above is equivalent to which of the following? So what we should do here is to find further ways to simplify. And we can do that by dividing by x. So 2 over x plus 1 over x over 2 minus 2x over x minus 1 over x. We can rewrite this as 2x plus 1 over x over 2x minus 1 over x. And thus we can multiply these uh, by 2x plus 1 over x multiplied by the reciprocal, which is x minus uh, over 2x minus 1. We simply just switch the denominator and the numerator because we were multiplying instead of dividing. And then we should get 2x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 because the x's cancel. So the answer should be b. Which of the following is the sum of the two polynomials above? So we should combine the like terms like we did before. And if we do so, we'll get uh, 3x to the power of 3 plus brackets x. 8x squared plus 7x squared because we're adding the like terms together and we add by the negative 4x by negative 11x and negative 7. If we further simplify this we've got 3x to the power of 3 plus 15x squared and here we get negative 15x negative 7 so the answer should be b. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression above so again, what we should do is combining like terms. And if we do that, we'll get 5a minus 2a is equal to 3a, right? And then now we can do it for these two. 3 root a minus 5 root a, which will give us negative 2 root a. So the answer is 3a minus negative 2 root a. So the answer is c. Okay, last question. If y cannot be equal to 0, which of the val what is the value of this equation? Okay. So we can again simplify the equation above. And how how can we do this? We can expand. So we get 36 y squared here. Added by 72 y squared. And this will be over 72 y squared. This result has been um, achieved by expanding these parts of the equation and if you notice a pattern here we see that 72 is 2 of 36 because 36 times 2 is 72 so we can rewrite this as 1 over 2 plus 1 and if we do so this is equal to 3 over 2 so the answer is 3 over 2 that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next chapter.